Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is George Schlackig. I am the one, the one and only. Today I'm going on a bike ride. It is only about 7.24. I'm going to put this seat through the test today. There's a link in the description. This is bought on Amazon. I'm going to let you know what I think about this seat. It claims to be carbon fiber. I'm not too sure about that. To see how it treats my butt, I'm going to ride maybe a little bit over 100 kilometers with this today and then I'll let you know what it feels like and I can tell you what it's like versus my books that I've ridden for hundreds of kilometers in a day without really uh, getting any soreness on my butt. So if this measures up, you'll know about it. I doubt it, but it might still be a good seat for uh, riding around town. Anyways, I got a good going. I'm just trying to find my way outside of it. No idea where I Best cycling friendly way. It should get better over down there. At this point, the seat felt totally perfect. The way that you wouldn't even think about it. But here's a close up. You can see what it looks like. I am probably not on the route that I'm supposed to be on, but that's not critical. I'm in the part of Edmonton I am vaguely familiar with. I don't know where this trail goes. It was good enough for me to know that this trail was going south and west, because that was the rough direction I was trying to get at. I just crossed the North Saskatchewan River on a bridge that I wasn't aware existed. This is awesome. I found new trails in the Terwilliger area of Edmonton. Right now, just about 28 kilometers on this trip. Okay, here's my rant for the ride for the day. See over there where it says shared pathway. That's a nice trail where I just came from. But see how it ends right there at the road and then I come up to this this is what I have to go over this is a curb that is about eight inches tall and there's my trail that I'm going to continue on there is no safe connection for cyclists to continue their ride when it crosses a major road and this is to be found all over the city of Edmonton the roads for cars are always super wide whether there's traffic or not and they are given priority. I wasn't gonna get into this, this is a, a ride but I had a good ride so far on the trail so now I'm going to go on and we'll see how where this one's gonna go and I'll see you where it ends because I'm sure there's something to complain about there too. See what I told you back there? 
That's where my trail ends, right here. There, see? Now I have to go through the ditch to go to that car lane over there. I don't know what that is even. So I've been riding right now uh, almost 39 kilometers and I'm still in Edmonton. 9th Avenue, where is it? And I'm going to Calmar. That's what I, what I got in my mind. I've arrived at Highway 60, which is close to Dillon. I, I have only about maybe two, two and a half kilometers to go to Devon. And from there, I have to catch Highway 39. And then uh, I believe it's probably uh, in the neighborhood of 10 kilometers to go to Kalmar. That's where I'm gonna grab lunch today. And then uh, I'm gonna find my way back to uh, maybe through here, I don't know. I don't really like the highway that much, so I'll have to think about that. I say that so far the seat is doing really well I mean it feels great what a beautiful place here the only problem I have is that the highway is pretty noisy yeah I got one kilometer to go to Kalmar and after Kalmar I'm gonna turn around and take this highway 39 probably I'll go to Leduc and then uh, go north again from there just to get a change of scenery and then uh, I can find my way back into Edmonton more on the east side. Should be interesting too. We're looking at my lunch. Yeah, so I I rode the 65 or so kilometers here. Now uh, it's lunchtime. So about the seat, it's good. My butt doesn't sore at all. I'm very happy about it. But I'll tell you more after I complete this ride. So now it's time to eat. All right, let's put this place on the map. Burger bar. It's in. Kalmar, Alberta, and they have good burgers. <laughs> Not much else. The coffee was good too. The fries were, yeah, just fries. I wouldn't eat that stuff every day. It's not healthy. But when you're burning a lot of calories all at once, then sometimes your body might just be screaming for some fat. I had to purchase a liter and a half of water. You get this for a dollar seventy-nine rather than paying 265 or something like that for one liter just because there's a different label on there. And I got a whole liter left for the rock. It's important to have water. way through the Duke. I'm on a beautiful trail 
There's a brand new road that has six lanes for cars. I reached Leduc, and now I am treating myself to a horribly sweet slush puppy. That's going to be like instant energy going north with the tailwind to Edmonton. <laughs> be there in no time. I'm back in Edmonton, we got flown uh, right through the city, well, through the east end of the city, on 50th Street, straight ahead with a tilt. So I was averaging probably 30 kilometers an hour, 35 even maybe. It was pretty fast, but it was also pretty dangerous. 50th Street in Edmonton is one of the most dangerous ones there are because it is configured for cars. There are really no bike lanes except here and there. And the ones that are like off to the side, unfortunately, there are constant disruptions. So it's not a really good ride at all. On the car lane, it's a good ride, but you know, there's always idiots who will pass you within six inches. All right, my ride today was 130.5 kilometers. I feel great, but uh, it was pretty fast at the end. 130.5 today, 46.3 max, and 21.4. I think that is the average. That is still a pretty good average for 130 kilometer ride, I think. You know, it feels good anyways. feel great. Got to do more of these rides. This video, I was supposed to tell you about the seat. What my butt feels like after the ride. See, this is what it looks like. Somebody told me it looked like a piece of paper. But I can guarantee you that this seat on the long ride is way more comfortable than any type of padded seat. If you compare it to the books, I think the feel of the books is probably a little a step above that, but so is the price. Let's go in the shed and uh, show you my books seats. Yeah, this is the books seat on my other road bike. It doesn't look very worn. It's broken in. It feels great when you ride on it. It doesn't have nearly as much use on it as my other one could see that this one has a lot of wear and tear and this is what it looks like after about 18,000 kilometers something like that this is the most comfortable seat ever I've ridden this bike on so many tours and I sit upright on it you can see that 
Uh, there's uh, one side is more worn than the other. I have some serious problems with my legs. When I was young, I had a motorcycle accident, broke my femur, and got an infection, which turned into osteomyelitis, which is an infection inside the bone marrow. That was pretty serious. I had to be on antibiotics for months at a time. And, you know, there's really nothing that could bring my my leg back to full performance, or uh, at least near that, short of cycling. I tried bodybuilding, you know, when you do squats and that kind of stuff, you always compensate one leg for the other. Somehow on the bike, you can't do that to the same extent, so cycling is, is awesome. It's, it does wonders for your health. That's why the the best seat that you can afford is probably a good investment because it makes you more comfortable. So this plastic seat or carbon fiber or whatever they call it, I don't know if it's really carbon fiber or not, but it is $23 on Amazon and you can't go wrong with this. I mean, I just rode 130 kilometers with it and I would jump on the bike and do another 130, I guarantee you no problem whatsoever so if you want a good seat but you don't want to spend the money for a brooks go get that one i don't even know what it's called spider or something or other you know i'll leave a link in the description so uh, you know where to find it and yeah if you order it through my site there i will get a small commission so i would really appreciate it if that's what you do for now that's it for today. Every week I have an episode of Bicycle Tour and Talk. So if you're subscribed to my channel, I thank you for that. If not, consider it. And there are other videos that you might enjoy. They'll pop up on the screen just about now.